Hello all, welcome back. Today we will have a short introduction about flagella and the differences of flagella and cilia. So, bacterial flagella are helically shaped structures containing the protein flagellin. Flagella are the organelles for bacterial locomotion. It helps the bacteria to move. These supramolecular structures, they extend from the cytoplasm to the cell exterior. It is composed of three major structural elements. First one is basal body, second is the hook and the filament. The primary function of the flagellum is locomotion, that is movement, but it also functions as a sensory organelle which is sensitive to chemicals and temperatures outside the cell. There are different types of flagella. They are monotrichous, amphitrichous, lophotrichous and pedotrichous. Monotrichous is single polar flagellum. It has a single polar flagellum. Amphitrichous means single flagellum on both sides. Both sides we can see flagella. Lophotrichous means tufts of flagella at one or both sides. Pedotrichous means numerous flagella all over the bacterial body. So these are the different types of flagella. Next week comes to the difference between cilia and flagella. What is cilia and what is flagella? Cilia, they move substances across its surface, but flagella moves itself as an entire cell from one point to another. Cilia, they are short hair like appendages extending from the surface of a living cell. Flagella are long thread like appendages on the surface of a living cell. Cilia, they are present in organisms such as paramecium. Flagella, they are found in bacteria and sperm cells. Cilia, they are numerous in number, but flagella, they are less in number. Cilia, both non-motile and motile cilia are found, but flagella, bacterial, archaeal and eukaryotic flagella are found. So, thank you so much for watching this video. In the next video, we will have a detailed explanation of the structure of the flagella. Thanks once again.